Yo, what's happening? So, it's now Saturday. Just been to the gym to get push and pulling. Just about to have my post-workout shake, which you can see here. It's 50 grams of protein, 75 grams of oats, honey, there's a big scoop of peanut butter in there, almond milk, a bit of water, and a banana. So that's my post-workout meal. So obviously the race is tomorrow. So the food is quite high today. Loads of carbs, not too much time on my feet. I've already had my usual breakfast, which you've seen previously. So I didn't think there was any point showing you that. Um, I'm gonna go shopping in a minute and show you what I've bought for the rest of the day and the morning of the race. Um, racing quite early tomorrow and it's only 10K. So it's not like the maddest prep in the world, but um, I'm just gonna be getting up and going. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of race day and whatnot and when I get to my PB. Um, it's the first time I've done a 10k race since last year so uh, it'll be interesting to see what I can do. Um, but yeah, just been in the sauna after um, the gym, sauna, cold showering, all of that stuff which I do three times a week. And yeah, just to recap, we done push session on Monday um, after recovering from the near 30k on Sunday. So push session Monday, 16k on the bike, so a little bit less than, no, 12k on the bike, so a little bit less than normal um, for about, so about 30 minutes of work and a pole session in the evening. And then we did an easy run on Wednesday, eight kilometers, and then a leg session, which you've seen. And then Thursday, I had a day off just went to use the sauna, steam, and stretch, all of that stuff like I do on my rest days. Uh, Friday morning, we just got a little bit of speed work in and basically just ran, and then I was shooting all day, so I was pretty busy. I was gonna go to the gym last night, but I, I got home late, so I thought I'd rather just eat and chill. I won't stop walking around. Um, and then Saturday, and then race. So, just gonna neck this and then go to Sainsbury's because it's raining. I'm gonna drive straight from the car park, straight to that car park so I don't have to get wet, get my food for the rest of the day and I'm be gonna be cooking all my meals for the rest of the day so I know exactly what's in it, what I've had to eat. I know what, everything. So rather than eating out order and stuff, um, just so I've controlled all the variables and I've got no excuses tomorrow. Shopping done. Take you through what we're gonna eat for the rest of the day quickly. And yeah, show you the meal that I'm gonna cook now and the pasta that I'm gonna have later. So unfortunately I forgot some avocado for lunch, but some sourdough, some salmon, eggs, a bit of lemon. These is all just topping up oats. Oh, got this because I might have a bit of some Greek yogurt tonight as a treat before beds just for some extra food. Sorry, I just got my dog a new little ball as well if he, if he starts squeaking it on us. Almond milk, oat milk. Um, this is for Emily's ice lattes and my protein shakes. This is for my coffee. Obviously cookie and cream squares bars just in case I need any more. And then dinner tonight, prawns, spaghetti, parsley, chorizo, more lemon. Olive oil, garlic, I don't like my finger smelling like garlic. Need to get some new salt and pepper. Topped up this as well. And my omega freeze and vitamin C's. Bush. So it's like three o'clock now. I've just had my two like protein shake oat meals. So gonna cook these eggs and salmon and some nice sourdough and then just chill out. Uh, voila, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but Do you know what these are the most perfect eggs except for the state of these You don't even have to poach them you just boil them Minus that picture Six minutes and then take them straight out and put them into like cold water. That is the trick That's what you need Poncho's also got his today. <laughs> Geezer lives a dream. 
Here you go. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Punch. Where's my letter? It's on, like, on there. Punch, what's this? He's got a new little apple toy as well that I've got him. Yeah, he loves it. He's been non stop playing with his little smiley face. Oh, yeah, get your eggs in. Punch people ball away. Let's see, shredded at the moment. So, I'm gonna go get a croissant and a coffee. But. Good morning, YouTube. Race day. Um, everything up until now has been perfect, and then I had the most awful night's sleep, which you can't call. And it's just about getting on with it, regardless. So a little bit tired today. I had to get up at six. Um, we're in the first like starting pen, so. I think the race is at like 8 a.m. So getting my food in now really quickly. The same as every single other time that I've had breakfast um, that you've seen. Gonna get this in now. Not too worried. It's not hot today. It's, it's a normal day. It's, I'm not too worried about like hydration. Hydration, like salts or. Any of that, um, just loads of water. I've got a bit of salt in my porridge, etc. The dog's barking, isn't it? I'm gonna finish this as fast as possible and then get ready, do a little bit of a warm up -y mobility routine this morning and then get my stuff together and we're leaving. Weather, you can see, is absolutely shocking. But that also means do I want to wear my new vapor flyers and get them wrecked running in the rain? Because they look so sexy at the moment. <laughs> uh, this is the outfit. The runner vest on. Should I wear them? It's decided. These are staying here because I don't want them to get absolutely rattled. It's meant to be the summer. Summer racing. Anyway, the new balance, fuel cogs. We just got to the A610K at the bag drop area, at the runner area. No. <laughs> Bad videographer. <laughs> These guys got me the place today. Obviously, they do my running band plan and the ultra, and then they do everything between the five marathons. Um, just make sure you use my link for so I'm not get a free plan for two weeks. Give it a try. But yeah, uh, excited. Easy. It's going to take me this week. PB's pending. I wish I wore my. I wish, I wish I wore my actual shoes now though, because the weather weather's not too bad. Um, but I know what these are like, so hopefully it's a good idea that I've done it. Maybe everything happens for a reason. Um, it was a good thing. See ya at the finish. Money. Really good handwriting. Yeah. <laughs>
Strava, I know it probably isn't the time that I got, but 37 minutes, 48, 10K, 5K, 18 minutes, 19. But it'd be interesting to see what I got on it. I think it was about 38 like hopefully 38 like But I still feel like I did a big loop. This was 10 point, 10.3 kilometers in the end, so. I ain't doing my memory for a while. So, I've got my breath back now. I need to get some food and a nice coffee in me. Um, it was harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't know if it's the heat. A few people are saying the same thing, like, you couldn't breathe like five rounds, but, and I tried to, tried to smash my 5K PB halfway through, and that took it out of me. Um, but I made it 10K PB, 5K PB. Probably a 10K PB even on the race timer, but by two minutes on my driver, so yeah, happy with that. Thank <laughs> you.